It often feels like there just isn't enough time in the day. No matter how many tasks we complete and no matter how many things we mark off of our to-do list, there's always more to be done or more that could be done. So if you wanna improve your productivity or more importantly, free up some time in your life, each of the books in this list can help. They cover essential topics, including how to identify the one thing that will make everything else easier, how to reclaim your time through the intentional use of technology, how to regain the joy of deep, meaningful, and rewarding work, how to get more done by understanding how the brain operates, and how to achieve better results through effective collaboration. So let's quickly go through each of the books in the list so that you can identify the ones that are most interesting and most relevant to you, beginning with The One Thing by Gary Keller. It's easy to make the mistake of measuring productivity based on the amount of time that we spend working. But of course, real productivity should be measured by the results that we produce, not the time or energy that we invest. Otherwise, we can fall into the trap of working long hours with relatively little to show for it. The One Thing by Gary Keller is about how to increase your results through focus and prioritization. It can help you identify the one thing that you must do on any given day to make everything else in your life much easier. So if your time and energy are being pulled in a million different directions and you're feeling overwhelmed, this is a must-read book for you. Next is Digital Minimalism by Cal Newport. Today we are more distracted than at any other time in human history. Between mobile app notifications, email alerts, and social media updates, it's getting much harder to make productive use of our time. And of course, things may continue to get much worse as more and more technology today is being designed to be highly addictive. Digital Minimalism by Cal Newport is about how to be more intentional when using technology. It's packed with actionable advice for reclaiming time and improving focus. So if you ever find yourself mindlessly browsing social media or endlessly checking your email inbox or just being distracted by random notifications, this book can help you take back control. Up next is Flow by Mihai Csikszentmihalyi. The issues caused by digital distractions go well beyond the time that we spend refreshing social media or endlessly checking our email. And that's because these quick interactions shorten our attention span and limit our ability to focus. And as a result, it's more rare that we get to experience the unique satisfaction that comes from deep, meaningful work. Flow by Mihai Csikszentmihalyi popularized the concept of a flow state, a mental state in which we are fully immersed in a single challenging activity. The book explains how flow works, how to get into flow, and how flow relates to both happiness and productivity. So if you wanna fight back against the impact of digital distractions, or if you simply wanna regain the joy that comes from deep, meaningful work, then this book can help. Next is Your Brain at Work by David Rock. Two of the most valuable skills in business today include being able to do creative work and having the ability to collaborate effectively with other people. Now, unfortunately, many of us are experiencing increasingly high levels of stress in the workplace, and as a result, we're less creative and we're more likely to experience conflict when working with others. Your Brain at Work by David Rock explains how to boost creativity, collaboration, and productivity by understanding how the brain works. It's a very approachable guide to understanding both the strengths and the limitations of how our minds operate. And it provides very practical examples of how to adjust the way that we work to perform at our best. Next on the list is Who, Not How by Dan Sullivan and Dr. Benjamin Hardy. As entrepreneurs, we often have a limited view of how to improve our productivity. We learn new skills, we try to get more done in less time, but we get stuck on the idea that we have to do everything, or at least most things, on our own. And as a result, 
Every time we pursue a new opportunity, our workload increases or we have to let some things go. Who Not How by Dan Sullivan and Dr. Benjamin Hardy is about how to achieve better results through collaboration with others. Rather than always asking, how can I solve this when we face a new challenge or a new opportunity, this approach is based on asking who can help me solve this. The goal is to tap into the skills, capabilities, and experience of other talented people so that we can achieve more through effective teamwork. So those are five of the best productivity books that you can read. If you're interested in learning more about business, I do have reading lists that cover my favorite books on startups, business strategy, marketing, leadership, and other helpful topics. And I'll link those up for you down in the episode description box. But that's it for this list. If you have any questions or comments about anything that we covered here, let me know in the comments section and be sure to subscribe and visit rickkettner.com to learn more about the best business books for entrepreneurs.